be on. This is possibly the most colorful place I've ever run into. Y'all, this house back here with all these medallions on it makes me think of a gingerbread house. It's like a house of candy. I mean, really, look at it. Oh, I tell you what, this is spooky. It that way? <laughs> the eyes are watching you. What's that song? Feel like somebody watching me. That's it, yeah. I have no privacy. Okay. I can't stay down here. My, my yeah, you need to get up. She's downhill, y'all. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. It's Tim and Tammy time. Yes, it is. Please like. Please subscribe. Where are we? Today we're in Buena Vista. Or Buena Vista, as people in Georgia call it. I always called it Buena Vista, but yeah, I've heard right. people say Buena Vista. In a, at a place called Pasaquan, which is, uh, it's just, the whole thing is art. The whole compound is art. Yes, it is. And we're going to walk through it. I'm going to start right over here with these eyes. We're going to go in that building with them eyes, aren't we? We're going to go over there too. I thought we were going to the main entrance. Well, we are a minute, in a minute, but I'm down here and I want to go in here. Can I please go in here? Oh, where are you going? <laughs> oh, you want to go in there? Okay. I want to see what this is. Look at this walkway. Look at the figures. I see them. Okay. Now, part of this is... Okay. Let me just give a little background here. Pasaquan was... It's, the whole thing was created by a man named Eddie Owens Martin, who created his own religion, Pasaquanism or Pasaquoyism or something like that. And he became Saint Ohm. And part of part of the religion was the hair. It had to do with the hair. I don't really understand that part, but it has to do with the hair. Oh, it is. You can st Okay, I was scared you're gonna have to bend down to go in here. It's just yeah. Now donations are asked for, but there is no actual admission. Oh my gosh. What there's is this? Nose. Yes, there's noses. That's that's something about the place. There's noses. I smell something fishy. Something. This is just a room. It's concrete. The whole room's concrete. No place to sit. And it's the whole room is to sit in. I guess I don't know. I don't know what this was used for. If it was used for anything, but this is really kind of cold. Nice okay, look over there. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we don't like to look right there. You have to be careful. Anything in here is anatomically correct. So, I'm gonna try to... Well, you know, it's art. Art is what it is. You can't really... keep art away from being what it is. Now I'm gonna hand this back to him. There's faces over here. This place is so colorful. It just it just tickles me so much. Oh my gosh, there's faces here. Okay. Are you gonna be able to get back up? Yeah. Look at that. That's just bright. It looks like a kindergarten room. Okay. You here, know, let's go back. We might need a bigger boat. There's no water. <laughs> okay. So that's there's, something normal. Lawnmower. There's noses all over the place, so you know you fit right in here, right? Actually, I probably do. <laughs> looks like he's got a hat on. Looks like he's got a sombrero. Both of them look like they got a sombrero. Yeah. And it might, because this is supposed to bring in all peoples of the world. That was part of St. Ohm's purpose. I think the 
religion was more like a uh, non-materialistic, getting rid of all the material things of the world and trying to live that peaceful life that we all think we want. Okay. To get back to nature kind of thing. I guess we have to go in the door. You do. Look. Oh my goodness. You just gotta film it all. I'm sorry. Gotta film it all. The whole thing. I love this wall over here. My goodness. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale land, y'all. <laughs> This is amazing. I even like the walkway. It's mint and strawberry. reading a little bit about the religion, I got the Buddha, Buddhism vibes. Okay, I'm going to turn this off while we go in here and see what happens. I was wondering about this. They look like beds. Yeah, so this, this is, is like sort of where people um, sort of just hung around. Um, like when folks came to get their fortunes read, they would sit here like say if they brought a, a group he was, of people. yeah he was a fortune teller i forgot yeah. that's how he made his living yeah so they would sit down probably watch their friend get their fortune read and, and then uh yeah look at all the guineas on the wall over there when he was in new york yeah we so, uh, yeah he painted on cardboard boxes because he couldn't afford <laughs> <laughs> you got seen. He couldn't afford uh, canvases, so he painted on cardboard. And oh, that's just, cool. This whole place just turned into his canvas. Oh, that Mandela in there. That's what that is, Mandela, isn't it? The, uh, the big circular thing over here that's all home, well, that's what I think is a Mandela. Nothing to do with the Mandela, okay? <laughs> okay, the poor man psychiatrist. He considered himself an artist, but he never was able to support himself by selling his work. Okay, I'm not getting the lady. Huh? I'm not getting the lady. <laughs> Yeah, that one right there is absolutely magnificent. See? Mm -hmm. I said, I like it all. <laughs> oh, look, he's got, look. He's got one of those bracelets over here. <laughs> I think this is the way to go. Like we were, yeah. Yeah, this is it. Oh, yeah, we're not looking there. Let me see. Upper level. Y'all, that's all we're going to show him. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, my goodness. And I'll have to explain why. <laughs> Anatomically correct. Yeah. He's very anatomically correct. Very much. <laughs> Steps. Yeah. I love all these colors. There we go. That's like a, that's a totem pole. I always got the hair. Had something to do with the hair. He. But there is yin yangs everywhere. Love the hairdo. Looks like ice cream cones on top of the hair. Look. I'm not being mean. Yeah, I know. They sincerely like ice cream cones on top of their hair.
Well, it, it's easy to get off balance because the ground's uneven. All are the they, faces. Are these waves? Is this the ocean? Is that the sun and the moon? The waves, you know, I guess, possibly. Y'all, you know I got to think and try to figure it out. I see a cross over there. But all the faces, you're right. Look at all the faces. This place is really cool. Huh? There's steps right oh, there. Oh yeah, I think you can go up in the top of that. What are you going to look at? This fella over here. He looks like a warrior. But he also has what looks like a rock or something in his forehead. Is that Goliath? I don't know. It could be. Well, he has on, you know, in the story of David and Goliath, the rock hit the only spot it could possibly get to because he had on a helmet. I don't know if that's what that is. If that's Goliath, though, I'll bet you that little one up there would be David. Just my guess. Now, I don't know if he wrote it on here, but this one signed St. Ohm. And yes, it's E-O-M, but it said Ohm. But you know what? That also says St. Ohm. I wonder if you kept looking if I could find it on every one of them. There's a lot of people that don't know about this place. This is a circle of sand. Uh, he actually did dances in that. It's almost like uh, Native American dances. When I saw pictures of it, it looked like he was doing uh, like I don't know if he was doing a rain dance, but it's those kind of dances. And he would do it barefooted in the circle of sand. And cool. yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh, the other thing, and I have forgot all about this, not even noticed it. Now I'm noticing them everywhere. The snakes. There's snakes everywhere throughout this exhibit. There's two right here. They're at the top of the walls. There's over there. Yeah. The kind of snakes that I have nightmares about. And there, yeah. I had, I had, I had not paid enough attention there. I knew they were here. That, anyway, yeah. Here, well, I think I can climb the stairs and carry the camera. I love this building. I'm coming. Good view. Oh, cool. Yeah, I understand. You're right. Probably a good overview right there, won't it? Look at the roof. Yeah. He intentionally got different colored shingles. And over there, it's even yeah. more different colors. This is kind of an overview starting right here where we're at. Kind of hard to see everything. There's another building way down there. Oh, I know. And some of it's a lot of the same stuff, but it's still neat. Oh, it's so neat. Like I said, it's like being in a... Very Did we see the two soldiers outside the... See them right there? Yeah, what about them? Did we see those? I don't think I got we haven't those. We have been over there yet. We, come we out haven't. Of we come out of that yellow house. We come out, but we didn't come out there. Where did we come out? We come out behind that wall right there. There's a whole other building back there. Let's see what we got in here. Well, let's see. There's a light switch, but that's a light right there. Uh, you know, you're so observant. Oh, it's a whole room of mandalas. And the floor. Look at the floor. Yeah, well, I'm scared. This was probably a meditation room or something, I bet you. And the attic room. But the only light in here is from the windows. There you go. I can do like that. The snakes are everywhere if you realize they're here. That's two snakes coming together. The union of the snake is... There's one right there. I'm just going to tell you, 
Look what they're holding, both of them. Holding heads. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, wow. This is a well-in-the-morning. This is the kitchen that we're in. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was a mirror. It is not. It is a window. Everybody's got clothes on in here. <laughs> yeah. It's locked, I think. I From out, we could unlock it, but there's... Wow. I'm surprised. Does, don't it? It's like a little chapel. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is where. Oh my goodness, that is so freaking cool. That is a big propane tank. Propane tank. <laughs> wow. These hairdos make them look like rockets. Ice cream cones and rockets. Oh, it's something about the hair going up. Almost like it's, it, in fact, that's what it is. It's like an antenna to the spirit. Still a nice piece of property, beautiful, lovely trees, interesting sculptors, paintings. What more could you ask for? Certainly a pleasant trip. It was supposed to rain today, y'all. Look at the sky. Blue. Yeah. I'm so glad it rained hard yesterday. Stormed on me on the way home from Walmart. And they do th different things out here. It's like they got a little fire pit, which out here I suppose is legal. You can't do that in Columbus. You're in the fire pit. You just have a fire. Oh, we got two crosses there. Got three. Two up top, one on his head. Oh, yeah. Cool. Extremely. Okay, so that was our visit to Pasquan. We walked through the whole thing and we're back where we started. If you like this fiddle, <laughs> if you like this fiddling, this video, <laughs> if you like this video, <laughs> Please like, please subscribe. We love y'all. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs>